Kenneth Davis is almost 70 years old, and he goes through a walker each year. Every day he walks about four miles round trip to feed his five wild cats. He leaves around 10 o'clock each morning and can stay gone until 5 p.m. But why do his cats live so far away, you may be asking. 347 West Mill Street. That's where Davis lived until he was evicted by his circumstances. At the beginning of the year, his house was demolished by the city. For two years now, Davis has made the daily journey to his old house after he was forced to move out. A tree had fallen on the house where Davis and his brother resided, and the house deteriorated around them. On Mayor Street, I lived all my life. About 67 years ago. And the house, um, the house was in bad shape before the tree fell on it, and then, of course, they could not get there. It would cost too much to fix the house, and they have no fixed up money or anything like that. And it was already need to be, he, they didn't need to live there even when the tree fell on it, okay? So, so yeah, it's a sad story, but it's better off, they're better off now than they were. Just gonna let you know that, okay? Now, Nine to ten dollars a day doesn't sound like much, but over the course of a year, it adds up to at least three thousand two hundred eighty-five dollars. That's an estimate of just how much Davis spends on his fur babies. He grabs nine cans of wet food, one bag of hard food, and a bottle of milk. Although he has developed a problem requiring his feet to be wrapped, Davis continues to make the pilgrimage to his childhood home. He's known in the town of Malvern, Arkansas, for his walking, and one local business even gave him lawnmower tires to soup up his walker. Davis now stays at Bailey Place, a government housing complex in Malvern. Truthfully, he and his brother are better off in public housing, where they don't have to worry about maintenance or upkeep. There are other housing communities in town that would cut down on his walking time, such as Gloucester Court, which is next to the store where he buys his cat food, and Lockman Heights, which is only half a mile away from the old house. While it sounds like we may have found a solution to his problem, these other two locations are known for being more dangerous than Bailey Place. So maybe he can take the bus. South Central Arkansas Transit, or SCAT, is the only public transportation in the area. Run by the Central Arkansas Development Council, CADC, SCAT provides a ride service for people like Davis. Normally. 
Until the pandemic ends, the SCAT buses are only to be used for medical transport. Besides that, Davis would have to call 48 hours in advance and pay the $2 fare every time he needs a ride. I helped him, you know, weed eat his house over there because, you know, he tried to cut his grass with scissors. And um, it's not because he doesn't have the money. I'm not saying he has money in his checking account because he spends every dime of it every month, okay? He wastes too much money on cat food. <laughs> I mean, I bet one third of his check goes to his cat food, you know. That he has in his mind is what he's going to buy for those cats. What can we learn from Davis? We can learn to be caring, even when it's irrational. We can learn to push through adversity. And we can learn to just keep walking. Perhaps one day there will be a public transport service made available to Davis. But for now, he continues to wear out his walker. <laughs>